good morning you guys what is up welcome back to my channel it is sunday it's a beautiful sunday yesterday i went to a bridal shower for christian's cousin's fiance we are so excited um she is marrying into the family and she's the sweetest person ever so we showered her with lots of love um but today i am meeting up with my besties sophia and vanessa it's actually our five year anniversary of being we call each other romy homies because we got really close when we studied abroad in rome um and we literally did everything together when we studied abroad so it's our five year anniversary because five years ago today was our first weekend as Romy homies studying abroad in Rome. So it's crazy to say that five years has gone by. Oh, oh. Yeah. are you vlogging too? Vloggers. Vlogception. Vlogception. I was telling the vlog how it's our five year Romy homie oh anniversary. My God. Five years. Five years. So five years ago was our first weekend oh. in Rome. Beautiful. Cheers to our fifth anniversary. Cheers! Oh my gosh. It's crazy. It is really crazy. We're so old now. What is up you guys? I am, I'm wearing a shirt, not naked. <laughs> my hair's just like blending in, but I'm about to get ready. Um, I'm gonna start doing my makeup. It is our engagement shoot day. It's already 1.30 and I'm leaving in like an hour and like 15 to 30 minutes. Um, so not a lot of time. I worked like a half day, but I had to drop Christian off at work because it just made more sense I feel like it did make more sense to drive him to work and then I would pick him up with like all the stuff in the car and his outfits and everything. I think where he works is like right by like the road we have to get onto to go to the venue that we're shooting pictures at. But where we're taking pictures at is called Longwood Gardens. It's a like beautiful like botanical garden. Um, garden in like right outside of philly so it takes like an hour and 40 minutes to get there which is a hike but at the same time the garden is just so beautiful i was like how could we not take pictures here like i'm already excited to put these photos up on our wall and like frame them but obviously we're going to be using these pictures for our like save the dates and like on our wedding website and like pictures at our bright my bridal shower probably and we'll probably like put them out on our wedding day but yeah as if you guys have been watching um there's been some drama not really drama but it's it was really hard finding dresses honestly like one i feel like finding a white dress is kind of hard because obviously you don't want it to look like to party for like bachelorette style and then you also don't want it to look like graduation vibes which there was a couple of dresses that my friend Vanessa was like I just see graduation I don't see bride but luckily last Friday I went to King and Pressure Mall with Vanessa actually and I went into one store Altered State and I found the perfect dress the perfect like white dress it's technically ivory I would say it's like an off-white cream um, but it's perfect for the vibes of the garden. So I'll show you obviously like once I put it on. Um, I'm doing two dresses. One is blue. And then the other is like the ivory color. I'm super excited. Christian's actually going to be. He's wearing like technically two, two outfits. But really it's just one in like the first set of pictures where I'm in my blue dress. He's just going to be wearing everything except for the suit jacket. That's that. I'm toying still with the idea of putting my hair up for the second dress. Um, depending on like how much time we have. We have an hour and a half. So I'm thinking like... And it takes really quick to jump, uh, change into the white dress. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll play by ear. Maybe I'll get a few pictures 
with my hair down or something and then with my hair up. I thought I had way more time to get ready than I actually do. And now I see why. Like our pictures are at six. But now I see why you like start so early to get ready for your wedding day. Like if I didn't, I honestly should have just taken the day off because I had like three meetings today and I couldn't really like get ready while I was doing um, the meeting. So yeah, I probably should have just taken off but whatever. But I'm really excited to meet the photographer and her photos are always so gorgeous. So I just know these photos are gonna turn out so good. I did get a setting spray from Sephora, the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. So we're gonna try that out today. We're going full IS coverage today and we need it to last. And I'm really hoping maybe my skin doesn't dry out. Lately, it's been a little crusty dusty. And I woke up and my eyelid was like creased weird on this eye, but now it's like, it's kind of going back to normal. All right, let's bring some shadows back in with the bronzer contour still stick. If you're wondering what the signs are behind me, so in Christian's family, I explained this in like my birthday vlog like a couple years ago, but in Christian's family, um, instead of like, obviously we sometimes they still get each other through like birthday cards and stuff, but like on birthdays and like Mother's Day, Father's Day, anniversaries, whatnot, um, they do paper towel signs and like on the paper towel, you like do a little limerick. So we did that for our anniversary, um, Christian, went to work earlier than me um, and I didn't realize, but he put one up the morning of our anniversary and when I walked out, it was there. So he had like a full work day. So then I wrote mine and then put it up for him when he got home from work. So it's a cute little tr family tradition. We're gonna obviously continue it when we have kids hopefully one day in the future but for now it's just the two of us writing um signs for each other okay i hope this is good makeup i feel like i should have just been doing this in the bathroom like i always do but for some reason i was like no let me just sit but i don't know this lighting is just okay we're gonna go heavier on the blush today because I feel like you always need just like an extra, extra pigment because sometimes photos can like wash you out. So I wanna bring back the color. Okay, face is done. Let me get my setting powder. <laughs> complete makeup look so now I'm gonna go curl my hair really quick Good morning, you guys. It is the next day after our engagement shoot, and as you can tell from my voice, I am so tired. Um, the engagement shoot went really, really well. It was so magical and so dreamy and whimsical and perfect. Like, the weather was so perfect. Our photographer was even saying, like, how lucky we got with the weather. She's like, it's usually either, like, sweltering hot, windy, not, like, sunny and stuff like that so it ended up working out so so well i can't wait to see the pictures after pictures we walked around a little bit more because i just wanted to see uh, more of the gardens and like take some pictures videos on my phone 
um it was our first time ever going to longwood gardens which is so crazy like we've been dating for 12 years and had never made longwood gardens a date anyway more of the story we're gonna be going back to longwood gardens because there was still so much we like didn't even get to see and explore um because it was getting late and people were getting hangry <laughs> so we went to this place called the creamery i think it was like a beer garden but also like a food hall kind of thing so we got some wings burgers fries and then we hit the road because it was like an hour 40 minute drive back and we didn't get home till like 11. so yeah i'm really tired and drained i just did some work this morning but i need to go get a coffee like i'm not functioning right now and then i need to come back home and do my time sheets for work so that's on my to-do list today but i'm just gonna continue vlogging into the weekend and see where the days take us also the setting spray is absolutely amazing it's being added to my holy grail list um my makeup looked so good the whole entire night my face didn't get shiny um when we got home my makeup still looked good at 11 o'clock at night so get yourself some charlotte tilbury setting spray like you need also i need a new makeup bag because this one's exploding okay and then last thing i picked up my wedding day perfume the other day um i decided on burberry her so when we were when i was in tampa with vanessa visiting her we went to nordstrom and wanted to smell a bunch of perfumes and a lady came over and asked us like if we were looking for anything specific and i told her how i was looking for like a wedding day perfume and she suggested burberry her and i loved it i brought home like the little um like smell or sample thing that you could get and i just kept smelling it and smelling it and i was like this smells so good so i got a little one for now um just for like our engagement shoot i think i'm gonna do like like i'm gonna wear this scent for memorable events that we do like leading up to the wedding so like our engagement shoot i wore this um scent last night and christian was like you smell so good and then i'll wear it like when i go wedding dress shopping next weekend and then obviously like bridal shower things like memorable things that like i share with my bridesmaids or i share with christian and then like on our wedding day like just smelling that scent will bring up all of those memories all at once so that is the perfume that i selected and i'll link it down below because it's um, an amazing scent um i want to wear it every day but i'm not going to yet so that's that i'm sorry can you repeat that one more time for me yeah can i get a grande cold brew with oat milk grande cold brew with oat milk got you yes. anything else nope that's it okay come on up thank you thank you Last time I was here, there was a guy in charge of taking everybody's orders and he would sing to you like, welcome to Starbucks, what can I get you? And I wanted to like sing back. Obviously he sounded much better than I did just now, um, but I wanted to sing back to him. Anyway, some things that I was thinking about uh, in terms of the engagement shoot, some things I wish I did. Number one, I wish I did like a full on dress rehearsal with all the things i got because the blue dress that i showed like a behind the scenes clip of the boobs were just not boobin like the sticky bra that i got that was the first time i've ever gotten that kind of sticky bra it just like was sticky on the inside and then you clasp it in the front um but the fabric was so soft that the linen material was like falling down so then i was like okay i have fashion tape so i was trying to tape it up but the fashion tape was not sticky enough, so it just like wasn't holding and it wasn't working out really good. Hi. Hi. 374. How are you doing today, honey? Good, how are you? Doing good. Alright. You have a good weekend. Thanks, you too. Sometimes I feel like yeah, let me go out this way. Sometimes I feel like when people call you honey. Like, I don't know, it makes you feel like you're a baby. All right, got the Starbucks. I need to go in and get a straw. I want to 
chat about the engagement shoot a little bit more i will say if these pictures turn out really good like makeup wise and like i'm really enjoying how the makeup looks um in these photos then i'm gonna commit to doing my own makeup for the wedding day i feel like it's not common that brides do that but for me growing up doing my makeup for like competitions dance competitions recitals and all of that i've practiced a lot and i just en have enjoyed doing my makeup so much growing up um and i feel like i do it really well i know my face and i don't know if i trust somebody else as good as they are to do my makeup i guess i don't know i feel just really confident when i do my own makeup and maybe things go really smoothly on the trial but then like they don't go really smoothly like the day of like i just don't want to put that in somebody else's hands like i'd rather take control of that um and then hair wise i'll definitely get somebody to do my hair i don't know how i'm going to be styling it yet um like i said i'm going dress shopping next weekend so maybe we'll find the dress um and then i'll think more about how i want to do my hair but yeah i'm really leaning on doing my own makeup and i'll be able to like try out all these different products um and see like what lasts really long so yeah we have a while to figure that out but i definitely know i'm going to be using that charlotte tilbury setting spray that was literally like glue on the face but like it looked airbrushed and flawless so i was loving that um and then secondly the dress situation I'm not going to show you guys the dress yet. I showed you the blue one in like the behind the scenes clips. But the white one that I chose was literally perfection. Literal perfection. I'm so glad I went with the dress that I chose. It fit the whole vibe of the garden so, so well. So I'm so excited. And I'll show you guys. Um, obviously, when you see the pictures on social media, if I get them in time, I'm going to post them on our like one year out date, which is so freaking cute um and then you'll see the dress there and then i'll show you guys like in a vlog of the dress like on and everything and where it's from so the blue dress though the one i showed in my like behind the scenes clips i did show you guys that one it's from Shopo. i'll try it on too so you guys can see the dress and when i was trying it on i didn't have a sticky bra but i got one the night before and i should have put it on with my dress to make sure it like would work out but i was literally so tired that night i passed out um and that was a mistake because when i got to longwood gardens i changed in the bathroom i literally brought my steamer because i knew it was just gonna get wrinkled in the car um and then i put it on and the boobs were not boobing you guys like my boobs felt like they were sagging down because the bra was just like pushing them down instead of like perking them up and then the material of the bra like was so soft that the linen material of the dress was like falling down so much and so i had fashion tape and the fashion tape was not taping it was not sticky enough so like one boob was actually fine like i think it was my it was my right boob that was fine but then my left one was causing so much issues and i almost like just wanted to take the bra off completely and just see if i could retape it but i didn't want to like take away time from the shoot so we'll see if like those pictures turn out cute hopefully like all the ones where we're like facing each other and like you can't really see the front um work out i don't know she she knows what's best and what looks the best so i'm sure she won't give us pictures that look absolutely terrible or like my boob is popping out or like that you can see the tape but that was the only like malfunction of the night but the other dress was literal perfection you guys i'm so excited to see the pictures but anyway i'm gonna go in and get a straw i'm gonna also sit outside there's tables and like um umbrellas set up so i'm gonna do my time sheets outside before my laptop dies um and yeah that is gonna be my little friday <laughs> 